hopefully everything turns up okay. It's nighttime. Nighttime video. It's a little special, isn't it? <laughs> hey folks, it's Daniel Rashid. Thanks for tuning in. I'm here to talk about buyers' requests to maybe access the property earlier. You know, what kind of liability that would be for a seller. Let's talk about it. So this does happen often uh, where a buyer may want early access to a property to perhaps improve it, to move in some things, to clean the house. You know, there's a lot of things that a, a buyer would want or request from a seller, um, especially if the property is vacant. It happens a lot. And a lot of times nothing, you know, um, nothing happens as a cause of it. You know, things come together fine and whatever, like a buyer may go in, close the property and, uh, or like clean the property and it closes fine. But there's a big liability. And if you talk to any lawyers, and I'm sure any lawyers watching this would tell you, it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bad idea from a liability standpoint to have a buyer sort of access that property earlier. Um, it's just insurance companies, when things may happen or when things go bad, there's really no coverage for, for a seller um, unless certain agreements are made. So there is a possibility for maybe a buyer to access a property earlier if they rent it, let's say. So they draw up a rental agreement, they rent it, maybe pay whatever, a dollar, doesn't really matter. Um, but they also hold their own renter insurance. Now, is that worth it for a buyer to go through all that trouble? That's sort of like on the buyer, you know, whether or not that's worth it. And there's also like a lot of little things, you know, are the buyer going to paint the house? Because that could be a liability, you know? So there's a lot of things that could come up uh, where a buyer would really need to exercise some thought into what they're doing and not to sort of go outside that realm. Now for the, for the seller side, um, same thing could really happen. So uh, the buyer could request that early access and you gotta understand that you're taking a risk one way or another and things may not go as smooth as you'd maybe hope them to go. Um, so for a seller side, you can draft up that rental agreement and at the same time, you could almost have a massive deposit maybe made be made to cover any additional liability, maybe something non-refundable. Um, that's also an option. Or just close the property. <laughs> that's also an option too. Just get the property closed, close it out, and then the buyer can do whatever they want. You know, So that does happen often. I get that question a lot. Um, you know, What if they wanted to do this and that with the property before it closes? It's really up to the situation or down for that particular situation because all situations are different. You could also have like, you know, if a buyer wants to move stuff in early, you can almost have them put the trailer in the driveway and just wait. And that would be my best, you know, all around average answer is just to wait until it closes just because things get really sticky if things go wrong. I definitely wouldn't risk anything. Anything as as a buyer you do to improve the property is improving something that you don't own. You got to think about it that way too. You know why are you putting money into this property that you don't own yet, and anything can happen. You know, God forbid, but anything can happen. So be smart about your dealings. Make sure that title's in your name. If you must get in there, draft up a rental agreement to protect you, and get insurance to protect you as well. Anything can happen to the seller side too, not just the buyer side. The seller, something can happen and maybe they can't sell that property to you anymore. And if you made a non-refundable deposit, you might lose a big chunk of that change. Shouldn't happen, doesn't happen often, never does, but that one time will cost you and you'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> you know, make sure you own that property, free and clear. It's in your name, go to town, do whatever you want. That's my two cents. Have a great evening. Take care. And stay tuned for the next video or something. <laughs>